Welcome to the podcast. This is episode four. I'm your host, Ghost Rats, and today we have a good one. We're going to be talking about bad USBs, uh, different types of bad USBs, the future of bad USBs, as well as some channel updates and my gratitude from uh, from basically all the support that I've been getting lately. I really do appreciate everything that you guys have been doing, helping me grow my channel, helping me grow my business. I have companies reaching out to me to do product reviews now for their products, both ethical hacking and just standard gaming products, as well as just tech products. Um, it's really exciting stuff coming to this channel. Um, I'm excited. I'm very excited for the future. I'm, I'm looking forward to all the new things that are coming to this channel. I have a lot of things planned for you guys, and in the background, I am doing a lot of organizing because I have, I manage a lot. I, it's a one-man show here, and I'm just trying to balance everything um, between my regular work life, my family, and my gaming content stuff, as well as my uh, cybersecurity stuff and tech stuff. I mean, this is more of a tech channel at this point, but I'm really pushing the cybersecurity stuff because that's the coolest stuff, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to promoting more of that. And again, I want to thank everybody. We're up to 13,000 subscribers now. I got my first super donation, which was like it was 4.99, but still, it's my first one ever for donating to me off of a video. And that was really nice, and I really appreciate that. Um, all the proceeds go toward building this business and making better content and videos. I'm pretty new with this stuff, and I'm really trying to grow this channel. So again, I appreciate all the love and support. And let's get into today's topic is going to be bad usb so we all know what a bad usb is and if people that don't know it's basically a device that pretends to be a, a human interface device like your mouse and keyboard and uh it confuses the computer and you it logs keystrokes into your computer and if you do it the right way you can do some really dangerous things you can launch payloads you can download viruses malware spyware it can be very malicious and very dangerous. Um, this is a very easy thing to use because it's usually plug and play. Um, you do all the work behind the scenes before you usually initiate this type of attack or penetration testing. Again, everything here is theoretical. I'm talking more toward the side of penetration testing. This is the cybersecurity, the ethical side, the side that helps protect the individual user. That's what we're promoting here on this channel because YouTube is already mad at me as it is with the other stuff I post and I'm really working hard to Make sure that the brand that I'm trying to produce here is the uh, more educational side, I guess, and the more self-awareness. Let's dive into today's topic, and we're going to be talking about bad USBs. So you see the bad USBs in the movies where you just someone plugs something into a computer, walks away, or and grabs all the information, and that's it. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes So when it comes to these payloads. Um, these devices, again, behave like a human interface device that's how they get onto the computer while any kind of being flagged because it just the computer thinks it's just a keyboard and mouse and these things have changed over the years so in the beginning in in the past um these usbs used to be plug and play so you would download one payload or one script and you would plug this usb device into the computer and um, it would automatically launch the payload um, as soon as you plug it in now uh, nowadays, it's like you have other options rather than that cheap, just plug it in and that's it and you walk away. I mean, now you can do modifications on the spot depending on what device you're using. And um, there's some of them that you can even be next to the computer anymore. You can actually be like a mile away or two. So I've experimented with Bluetooth bad USBs as well as Wi-Fi bad USBs. So basically the Bluetooth one would be that once you have a Bluetooth connection to the computer, the computer thinks that's a Bluetooth mouse, keyboard and mouse, and um, then you can launch the payloads that way. So if you're within Bluetooth range of that device and you're connected to the computer, you could be sitting a little bit away and launch this payload um, or connect to the computer Bluetooth, or come back another day and then reconnect to it when you get close to it and do what you have to do and again really good for penetration testing because now it's not as suspicious as you being plugged into a computer um, you can just be within the general area of the device and i would say this is more like a second gen type of bad usb because it's no longer a simple usb you plug into the computer you, you actually don't have to be attached to the computer anymore you can be remotely attached if that makes any sense um, and the issue i found is that this stuff you have to kind of pre-set up so I use my Flipper Zero to do these Bluetooth type of payloads, um, and you have to have everything preloaded. So like I can't edit the script in my Flipper Zero and then send it Bluetooth. I can only use a pre-set up and downloaded payload that I have on my Flipper Zero. 
So this is where that limitation comes in. So yes, you're no longer physically attached to a computer. You're more remotely com attached to a computer, which makes it a little bit better than the first gen type of USBs or bad USBs, I should say. And uh, this is where I introduced to the newer generation bad USBs where you can customize things on the fly. And uh, I'm gonna get to the newest gen bad USBs, which I actually got a hand on um, recently. I had a company reach out to me and they're developing the fourth, I say fourth gen bad USBs, but let's talk about the third gen first. So let me get ahead of myself here. So the third gen would be something just like that, where it's not Bluetooth anymore, it's more or less Wi-Fi. So now you use Wi-Fi frequency and range, so you can be further than Bluetooth. You know, we all know that Wi-Fi is further um, than you, uh, YouTube. is <laughs> farther than Bluetooth. You can be within 2.4 gigahertz range. Um, some of them um, you, can, you can get outside of a building, depending on what device you're using. But now using Wi-Fi... There's a, is an application you can log into. So it's usually you type in the IP address once you connect to it on your phone. And uh, from there, you could log into the IP address, get into the device. And on the device, you can customize payloads. So you can have all these payloads saved to your phone. You can tweak it and then paste it and then send it and submit it and all on the fly. So the only thing you have to do is make sure that whatever device you're using to do these type of um, Wi-Fi penetration bad usb testing uh is plugged into the computer without anybody really noticing it so that's become difficult because stuff like this i've used a raspberry pi zero w and i, I set it up to be uh, i think they call it a little offensive device um i don't want to butcher the actual name that they call it but you plug it into the computer it's uses wi-fi um and uh I plug it in walk away within wi-fi range i'm able to edit payloads and send it to the computer and then disconnect from the computer or uh, turn off the device itself uh, remotely. The only problem is it's not as discreet and not as stealthy, which gets me into the exciting new world of bad USBs. So again, I, I think shout out to Omar Youssef. Uh, he's the one behind this passion project of a bad USB. Um, it acts just like the third generation bad USBs where you have wi-fi range and it has like a wi-fi inter uh, has an interface where you could customize payloads um but the newest benefit to these bad usbs is stealth where this device in particular this is they call it the diabolic drive this device plugs into the target and unlike the first generation bad usbs where they instantly send the payload as soon as you plug it in this one which makes it crazy it just lies dormant and it pretends to be something it's not, even further than a keyboard and mouse. It pretends to be an actual storage device. And what do I mean by that, a storage device? Well, I mean, you plug it into the computer, it behaves just like a USB flash drive. It will plug in and say that it's a storage device. You go ahead and open up the file manager, you click on the device, and it'll show that it's available storage. And then when you look at the device manager even further, the device manager even says it's a Kingston flash drive. That's insane. So now there's no way to detect that, that this thing is a malicious device. This thing looks like a, that's another thing. It looks just like a USB It'll, it'll fit. You take, you take a shell of any third, uh, 3.0 USB storage device, um, and put it onto this diabolic drive and you will never know the difference i mean you you completely it blends into the environment both physically and internally you plug it in it looks like a regular usb it looks like a regular usb when you you have it in your hand so you would never think that it's malicious and the dangerous part is you have this plugged into computer you leave it plugged in and it sits there and lies dormant until you're ready to penetration test and then it switches from a normal usb to a mouse and keyboard which you could operate remotely within wi-fi range that is insane like i want you to understand what's happening here that this single device though only looks it behaves like a bad like a regular usb it then flips and turns into a, something malicious and can go back to lie dormant and you would never know the difference. You would have to physically take this thing apart and maybe you'll be able to tell it's different than a regular USB. And that's the new generation is that you're having a lot more stealth tech. So I, I don't know if you guys know uh, Hack5 and their OMG cables. 
they operate a little similar, um, but you have to be very close. Their Wi-Fi range is very um, short from my understanding. I don't have one physically, but reading other people's reviews, they're a little pricey. I, can, I don't have one yet on my own, but eventually I'll buy one of those to do pr actual thorough, 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 yeah, testing. Um, it, you don't have that much range, but, but this diabolical drive, you can be pretty far away. Like it, you, it's The way Omar has it set up is that it gets a little bit more... Oh, well, actually gets a way more range than having to be right next to it. So that's the only downfall with these OMG cables. But as you see how this can become dangerous, where just like the OMG cable, it looks like a normal cable. You would have never expect anything. It behaves like a normal cable. But this thing behaves just like a bad USB, a, a normal USB, but it's malicious. It's a bad USB. So the new stuff out there seems to be stuff that blends in more. Like the days of like the hacker person standing out with all the stickers and the glowy stuff and... All the, like making them look like oh look at that he's wearing the hoodie like that stuff's gone like it, it's not how it really is it, it, it's the way the idea of the game is to blend in and this can only get more dangerous because I, how do you all these devices are going to get so good with their stealth tech like this you're not going to be able to tell what's what you're not going to be able to trust anything you have to lock everything down to a point where it's almost unusable and a, I know there's trade-offs to everything, but it's just this stuff, it's a constant cat and mouse game. And I, again, this is self-awareness. I'm telling you that this stuff exists. I physically touched and played with this thing, and I was able to send a payload. I attacked my own computer, and it could not tell the difference that it was a malicious device. So that's the new generation, and that's the new stuff you have to look out for. Um, again, this is a passion project, so this is this stuff's handcrafted by this guy. Um, eventually, I can see this stuff getting more mass-produced. Um, this is the beginning of it. Uh, I could see, I would love to see his business blow up. I mean, his uh, I'll leave his link in this uh, podcast as well to this device. I believe the last time we talked, we only had like 25 left. Um, and uh, again, it's like a again. I'm one of the first to promote this device on the channel on YouTube in general, and uh, it's been a very exciting process. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest hacking, ethical hacking, penetration testing devices because it has it fits in that whole genre of stealth and what to look out for and how dangerous everyday things could be because you're just you're not just aware. That's why it's so important to educate your users because the user needs to know the risk of picking up something random and plugging it into the computer, no matter how harmless it may look. So that's why I really like it because bad USBs are really interesting, yes. I mean, back in the day, they were really interesting when they first came out, but now they're a little bit more, people are a little bit more aware, but the bad USBs now that act dormant and pretend to be a regular storage device, that's a game changer. There's a whole world of stealth tech now. And customizability, I mean, it, it's incredible. So that's that's the future of the cybersecurity. It's the future of um, ethical hacking. Is this, You're going to see a lot more stealth tech and things behaving as if it's a regular device or even a program acting like a normal program, but it's actually a malicious program. I mean, it's, that's, it's, it's a hiding game. So it's, it's, as it advances, we need to be more aware. So I'm telling you to be more aware of things that are this dangerous um again and that's the three fourth generations of the bad usb is a quick summary of this podcast here an educational video or talk i guess um for my testing uh they have the bad usb is a first generation where you can get a raspberry pi pico and install a payload and turn that into a bad usb plug it in and then as soon it runs the initial attack as soon as you plug it in you walk away Again, that is, it's, it's no customization. It's just plug and play, I guess. Um, then you have the Bluetooth generation where it's a little bit more advanced than that, where you don't have to be physically connected to the computer anymore. Um, then you have the third generation where it's Wi-Fi now, and you can do a little bit of uh, customization on the fly. And then you have the fourth generation where it has customization, stealth tech, uh, yeah, built into it so like that's the exciting new world the bad usbs are the ones that disguise themselves like normal everyday devices and the diabolic drive is the perfect example of that because again this is the one that was sent to me and i was able to test and do hands-on so i'm not making this up i in my there's a youtube video on my channel of me actually attacking my computer and you can see how it behaves there is no way you could tell it's a, a malicious device there isn't 
it looks like a good a good device and it behaves like a good device and the computer identifies it as a good device uh, device and it does every, it i tested every part of it and it that's what it does it just works and that's the scary reality of today's day so again remember safety is an illusion and i really thank you guys for coming to this podcast and i'm trying to get better at it this is again all this stuff's new to me and i'm trying to grow my channel i want to get more i would love to share this channel i guess with people like i would like to get to know other uh ethical hackers that have way more experience than me i would love to see and learn from them i love to help them teach all of us uh, i like to test out more devices and i'm in the background learning too and sharing my knowledge with you guys i'm doing it at a much slower pace because i got i have a lot that i gotta balance between product reviews and my gaming stuff uh, that i'm partnered with and other companies i'm partnered with i'm actually partnered with a cloud computing company and i'm trying to grow my business um and again you guys are a big help with me and i always love cybersecurity. that's where my I, I, honestly i love it i just always love the ethical hacking stuff um i, I love I, I love learning and, and this feels constantly evolving so it never gets boring things get boring like this doesn't so and the, again the seeing the new generation of bad devices is really exciting and not because it's malicious it's just it's just exciting to see how things evolve so again uh, thank you guys for coming to this uh podcast i hope you guys have a great day and remember that safety is an illusion and i'll see you in the next one